Is it possible that you're not reaching your goals because they aren't smart goals? Let's talk about it. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rod Vester and I am so pleased that you are here. This is the best place for musicians who want to develop skills on and off the instrument. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you won't miss any videos when I upload them weekly. So today we are talking about how to make better goals for 2022. So here's an example. I want to become a better musician. No, 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 no. But how? That's when the concept of SMART goals come into play. So SMART goals are not just intelligent goals, okay? But it is an acronym, SMART goals. So what does S stand for? Specific, M, measurable, A, attainable, R, relevant, and T, time bound. So let's talk about SMART goals and more specifically how you can make your goals SMART in order for you to achieve your goals in the new year. Let's talk about it. So S, specific, how do you make this goal, I want to become a better musician, how do you make that specific? So here's an example. I want to master the major and minor scale during the month of January, okay? That is specific, right? It's mastering the major and minor scales in January. All right, so it gives us something to do, learning the major and minor scale, and it gives us a time frame as well, January. Because again, if you just say, I want to master the major and minor scales, then you don't have a time frame, right? So it's not specific enough. So for SMART goal, for the S specific, you, you want it to be specific, okay? So here's another example for specific. I want to learn how to play in the key of A during the month of February, okay? That is a specific goal, all right? So let's move on to M, which is measurable. So measurable also means trackable, okay? So it means that you can actually track the progress or lack thereof of your specific goal that you have set. So again, let's take the example, I want to learn the major and minor scales during the month of January, okay? That's trackable because it first of all means that you have to learn the major and minor scales first, then you have to learn them all in all keys during the month of January, okay? So it's specific and it's measurable because you know if, if I don't learn this in the month of January, then I am off track, right? And so measurable means trackable, all right? So moving on to A, attainable. So your goals should be challenging yet reasonable and achievable. So using our example again with the major and minor scales, how do you make this attainable, okay? So during this A section, attainable, you want to say, okay, uh, I need to map out what I'm going to do for this specific goal. So you may say, I want to learn the C major and C minor scale during the first week of January. Okay, and so that is something that should be attainable, right? So you have to under, you know, you have to go through and see, well, do I have time and, and you know, all of that, of course, right? But you want it to be attainable. So during this time, this attainable section uh, of the SMART goal, you want to be able to kind of break down the specific goal a little bit more to see what am I going to do each day, each week in order to make this, in order to meet the goal of the entire month, right? Does that make sense? Um, so attainable, making sure that the specific goal is measurable, of course, and also that it's attainable. We've covered specific, measurable, attainable, and R is relevant. So your goals have to be something that are actually meaningful to you and worthwhile in pursuing, right? So hopefully you are doing something that's going to be meaningful to you and something worthwhile doing, right? Because if, if it's not relevant to you, then you're not going to stick with it. You're not going to be motivated to meet any goal that you set if it's not relevant to you. So that's all what the R section of SMART goals is all about, right? It's just relevance. Is it relevant to me? as a person, musician, whatever, okay? So it has to be relevant to you um, because that relevance is going to kickstart all things and keep you going because again, it's meaningful to you 
and it's it's important to you to reach this goal or these goals. T, time-based. So every goal needs to have a deadline or a duration, okay? Um, because if you don't have some type of deadline to the goal, then you know, you're not going to really work towards it, right? You're just going to have this goal that, you know, you don't have a, a time frame to it, and it's just gonna linger out there. You know, when you set your specific goal, and it's measurable, and it's attainable, and it's relevant, then the time bound piece is to have a deadline for you to meet this goal. So for example, going back to the, the example we used at the very beginning, the major and minor scales during the month of January, right? That's time bound. So you know I need to learn the scales and all 12 keys um, you know, during the month of January. So that's time bound. So I know that's my motivation to get this done during the month of January, all right? So again, you want it to be time bound. So here's the question of the day. Have you even heard of SMART goals? And here's a part two of the question is, are you going to use SMART goals? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I want you to, you know, get your goals set and I want you to reach them and I want us to move forward together, all right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.